Good morning, friends. Um, today, I'm gonna take you guys along for a little day in the life because I haven't done that in a really long time. So I think it'll be fun, even if it is just like normal life here. There is nothing special. It's Monday after spring break, so we're coming back from a break. As you can tell, it's still dark outside. It's only 7.15. Um, yeah, so far I've had a cup of coffee. I've put on just like the absolute bare minimum amount of makeup that makes me feel a little bit better about putting my face on your screens. And that is it. I'm about to check my tablet and see what we've got going today. Um, I kind of fill it in ahead of time, but then kind of re-go over it in the morning. Um, you guys remember my planner on my iPad, yada, yada. Um, so that, so today you're going to come along with me for just a homeschool Monday in the life. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm going to apologize for the lighting. I'll try to fix some of this in editing, but it's dark. It's dark in the kitchen and I'm not ready for light yet. So that as I mentioned, literally all we have going on is just our normal day. So homeschool, I'm gonna cook today. I don't normally cook on this day because we do dinner at like 3.45, but I figured it'd be a good day to show you guys my pasta sauce, uh, my spaghetti slash lasagna sauce that I'm gonna, not gonna lie, people really love it. So I will do that. Um, it's one of those things where I make ahead like four quantities of it. So we do two spaghettis and two lasagnas out of one pot. Um, we will do that. We have been um, just enjoying the week off with friends and cousins and everybody who goes to real school. So we will be a little bit back to normal today, um, which is always hard, but we'll see. It's also supposed to be like crazy storm, like rainstorm, which is terrible, um, but it is what it is. So we'll be inside most of the day. That, that. Yeah, I don't think there's too much else going on. They, uh, the girls have been painting door covers for our 10 Canto party coming up. And yeah, so that's where we are. I'm gonna get some work done before my friends come down. I need to empty the vacuum cleaner because it's the little automatic robot vacuum cleaner. But first I'm gonna check my schedule and see what we got going on. Okay guys, it's just after eight. My friends are up now, so we're gonna get started, hopefully, moving in the right direction with our school day. So I'm just gonna take you along as we do that. Uh, today is Monday, so it is Mom and Me Monday, which you guys know is like my favorite day of the week. It just sets everything up in our homeschool so much easier. So I'm gonna package things. I'm gonna get their Generation Genius ready for them so they can eat breakfast while they watch that. And then I am gonna go ahead and make some packaging because if I get too involved with something at this point in my day, then it derails our mom and me Monday. So I try to like not do that. I also have a video going live in 30 minutes over on Suitcase Princess, uh, cause it's Monday. And so it's my, one of my posting days over there. Um, and then, yeah. So I did a little bit of video planning this morning. I'm feeling pretty good with how my morning is going so far. Like I said, I'm gonna make some packaging right here and um, get them set up doing something they don't actually need me for. So that's how we're starting today. Okay, girls have started Generation Genius in the other room. I am gonna catch up on YouTube videos whilst I cook breakfast for myself. 
Okay, so I just had a realization that I am filming a day in the life. And for whatever reason, literally like the only time I do this, it seems to be extreme weather. And today has the possibility for extreme weather because every time I do this, I'm like, oh, these are the plans and we have dance tonight and all these things. And then all the things go by the wayside and I'm like, well, that was the day. So it's not gonna happen today, right? Guys, I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. And now the power keeps flickering. Like, this is not a joke. I literally, I literally just said, oh no, what about this? And the power starts flickering. So, might be a little bit more interesting than just a normal day in the life. Why? Because there's like no normal day in the lives. Okay, power is flickering. Kids have finished science for the morning and are moving on to getting ready and chores. I've got to shoot an email um, about doing an interview really fast. And then it'll be time for launch video and I've got my breakfast here, so I'm just gonna work for a minute. In the video that's going live in four minutes, I try to make this kind of my first like natural break in the day, like before video launch and after video launch because with the two channels, well, we're not early risers. Like the kids are not early kids. They never have been. Um, like they were never like waking us up at 6 a.m. every day. But at 8.45, I have videos going live four or five days of the week between the two channels. Both channels get two videos a week and I kept the posting time the same just to keep my brain happy. So 8.45 is just like a natural kind of hard stop. Like I'm working on getting the video kind of up and going between 8.45 and nine, and then we move on. So it's always like kind of a natural spot to break up the day. Four, right? And so the answer is four. And let's think if that's true. Is four plus four, eight? Yes. Yes. Okay, how about this one? 10 minus five. Put the well, five. Okay, kids are working on their math lessons, their math videos, so I am gonna go ahead and start the sauce because if I don't start it, I'm gonna forget and then we won't have enough time to have our homemade sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the pot because it can always cook longer, but it definitely needs to cook enough times. So there's like a fine balance here, right? Okay, so everything's in, takes about 10 minutes uh, to get it kind of ready. And then now I will just cook it. I'm gonna get it to where it's like simmering a bit and then turn the heat down and just let it stew down all day. And then what I'll do is I actually cook up like four pounds of Italian sausage and I go ahead and portion this out. So I go ahead and portion out um, the servings for lasagna and then I portion out another serving of, uh... so I portion out the meat and two sauces for lasagna and I have containers that are like the right size, I know what I need. And then I will cook the other two pounds of Italian sausage, put it in with this sauce and then split that in half and we'll have one tonight and then one to freeze for later. So this is actually for like really good meals for us. So we love it. We just throw it in the freezer and then pull it out as we need to and it's pre-portioned and it's ready to go. So one, you know, little bit day of more effort and then it's easier on the backside. So that. While I've been in here doing this, the girls, they have already done Generation Genius. Then they paused for getting dressed and morning tour, which is guineas. Um, and then now they went ahead and watched their Matthew C videos all on their own and they've turned on Studies Weekly. So they have got themselves set up and ready to go. They are doing that and I'm gonna pop in there and start getting ready for, um, for my portion of our school day. So here we go. It is, let's see, time check. It is 9.20. As good as Dallas. Dallas is the best. It got the highest population. For Roosevelt, good job. I could no. do not. It just looks like him. It does look he like him. He made like a lot of national parks. He did. That is exactly right. He has just a very distinct look. Now I yeah. know the who fall that oh. is. Uh -oh. The fall of Rome was last week. So what have we got this week? Kushites and Aksumites. That does not sound familiar. The ancient African kingdoms of Kush and Aksum and how they became strong civilizations through trade. Egyptians this is the Kush Empire. Mm -hmm. So you need to color this one and, and color it up here. Mm -hmm. And then but this is the Aksum. And color right there, same color, okay? 
The fearsome Assyrians, with their iron weapons and powerful army, invaded Egypt in 670 BCE and drove out the Kushites. For the rest of ancient times, a foreign power from outside of Africa ruled Egypt. But the Kingdom of Kush, which is located deeper in the African continent, farther away from the Mediterranean Sea, and protected by the cataracts of the Nile River, was harder to reach. We've moved on to verb. A verb that shows a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> verb is a word that shows action, being, or linking. He jumped. There was a hobbit. Joe is low. <laughs> Oh, I remember doing that one. I did, I of course already did cryptozoology. Cryptozoology. I'm trying to find. Time go. You already did that one. You already did that one. Kaleidoscope. Man eating monster. Kraken! A Kraken! I know about a Kraken! Kraken! Dun, dun, dun. Mm? Kraken! Dun, this dun, one, dun. this one is pink. Mm. It has a pooch. <laughs> oh, come on, Marilyn. You're not opening this word! That is a lion eyes. Lionize. Lionize. It's a verb. When you lionize someone, you treat them as if they are very important and special. Like Voldemort and Nagini. But we need to know what to replace it with, okay? If I want to spell the word rock, the first thing I do is look at the letter oh, that yeah. comes right before the sound of k to see if it's a short vowel or a long vowel, okay? So we have rock and ick, pick. C-K. So one day, as Steve and Samantha rode their bikes past the closed park entrance, they both wondered sadly if they or anyone else in the neighborhood would ever enjoy Forestdale Park again. I miss Forestdale every day, Samantha said. Thank you. Okay, so we are finished with schoolwork, so my friends are picking up. We are probably, it's knocking on 1130, so it's probably almost lunchtime. Um, and we usually talk with dad a little bit at lunch since he's gone back to work. It's just a little nice like middle of the day check-in for everybody. So we will do that. And then I think my big friend wants to play some night zookeeper. So we will show you night zookeeper because it is one of those things that we really love in our house. And I don't think I've talked about it in quite a while. So I'm gonna share that with you again today. So, hey guys, um, since the girls are still eating um, I, and Amelia said she wants to play Night Zookeeper after this. I was going to go ahead and give you a little bit of that rundown on what that is. Uh, not booze, just a LaCroix. So if you're not familiar with Night Zookeeper, we have used it for a year probably now. It's not as easy to use with my younger daughter because the age range is geared toward a little bit older. Uh, but if I sit with her, she can you know, participate in a lot of the activities and they have like little videos on there that she really loves. If you're not familiar, Night Zookeeper is not an app based program. It is an online based program because it's just kind of so meaty. Um, but it is gamified creative writing platform. And there are uh, like some social aspects to that. But what your kids can do is they can go through and complete activities. They can design their own characters, give them backstories. Uh, they can select writing prompts and, and do like submit a creative writing thing. And it has them basically try to check certain boxes, like use this many words, use this word to describe it, like 
things like that. And then those things, once they're submitted, are reviewed by trained <laughs> writing professionals, which is not me, which is a good thing. And then uh, they review it and then they'll ask follow-up questions or ask your kids to change a few things. Um, and, and then submit it back to them. So it's not like they grade it, but they just give them tweaks on how to improve their writing or better usage of words or maybe expand a little bit. Um, and it's really fun. And it, I think it's fun because it's not me, but the way that they rope in the writing skill into the game, I think is what resonates really well with my daughters. So that, but also if you're not a screen person, I mean, they do have books full library books, like a full set of books that you can order and, um, and get print books. And they also have, they send out like an email blast. I don't remember if it's weekly or monthly that gives you like, like print ideas, like things outside of the platform that you can incorporate to help with writing and creative writing. So, um, it is available for a free trial. So I will be sure to link that down below. If you decide to purchase it from there, um, there is also, I think I can get you 50% off an annual subscription. So 50% off might be worth just giving it quite a shot there. And we use it not as a full writing curriculum, but definitely as a supplement. Um, this year has been mostly just for fun, but she loves it. I absolutely loves it. So it does also focus on a few other things, you know, a little bit more grammar. There's some art components and spelling and vocabulary. So it is nice to have that resource. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you when she starts playing it here in just a little while, but I wanted to give you a little bit more context. Be sure to scroll down to the subscription box and I will have a link for you guys down below. Uh, try it out. Let me know what you think. We like it in our house and they stay entertained with it. Like they want to they keep coming back to it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like it just is never talked about again. So that for sure. Welcome back. Okay. So the girls played on night zookeeper for a little while. My oldest, I guess both of them are about to practice dance. Um, and then just hang on the couch for a bit, which is fine with me. I finished my interview. Um, I'm going to save, I made packaging today. So I'm going to save orders and stuff for tomorrow. Cause I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, I'm going to get started on the rest of dinner. I'm going to go ahead and start browning some meat so I can get that out of the way so I can brown some more meat. Um, and while I do that, I'm actually going to have a protein shake. So it's a vanilla protein shake and you put in one of the little mixy packets of root beer. It is like a root beer float and it makes me so happy. It is so good. So whilst I brown the meat, I am also going to catch up on some YouTube videos because I don't have time to just like sit and watch things because I'm a parent. So I will be doing that. I don't know when this interview is going to come out, but it's based around my other channel, like taking the kids and getting out. But when it comes out, I'll share it with you. I hope it's good. I don't know. I stressed about answers. <laughs> I didn't know what to put. I didn't know which pictures to put. So we, we will see. We will certainly see. But that is what is about to happen. The kids are in the other room practicing dance. So that. the weather hasn't gotten too bad yet, but they're anticipating it's going to get much worse as the day goes on. So we'll see how that goes. But for right now, I'm just going to work on the next step because we will have to be eating dinner in about two hours at 345-ish. Uh, what we'll do is we'll eat dinner and then go to dance because uh, my oldest dances from 5.15, 5.15 till 8.15. So we just do dinner before dance, Monday and Tuesday, and then like a snack on the way home or when she gets back because it's so late. So that is what we're doing right now. You're up to speed. It is 1.45. So that, pretty good day really. Um, definitely, definitely busy, but we're hanging in there. I told you nothing exciting happening today. Just a regular old day in my life. Some days are like that. Okay guys, mom problems. This and this will be two spaghettis. One lasagna, one lasagna, but the containers I normally use for my sauce for lasagna are in the fridge. So I have no idea if this is enough or too much, I have no idea. So if it's not enough, then I'll just add tomato sauce probably at the time of building my lasagna. It'd be fine, right? Totally fine, totally fine. Okay, so everything that needs to get done, I need to finish up dinner. 
um, and then get the kids ready for dance. But we have about an hour, so I am just gonna hang out with the girls or see if they wanna go for a walk or something. So that is what is up next on our plan because my energy is kind of like Rrr. So I need to like pep, pep up my step a little bit, but I don't wanna like eat a snack because I feel like I'm gonna eat in an hour, so might as well just wait. Um, so that is what we're gonna do right now. Yeah. We don't really have, we don't really have anything else going on, so I might just end this video here. So, since this is just like really sorry, but kind of a boring and dull day in the life, but I am excited that you got to see our Mom and Me Monday, which you know I love. You got to see some more about Night Zookeeper, which is fantastic. Again, I have those links for you down below. Um, some days are just like this, right? Like just kind of boring, which is really great. I think our weather might turn a little crazy later, but for now, boring is good for me. We've been so busy. Last week was spring break and we were busy every single day. So having a nice kind of boring start back to our routine is really awesome. And um, probably the next time you see me, I'll look a little cuter with actual hair and makeup stylings. But yeah, I think that's it for today because we don't have anything else exciting going on. If I do, I'll pop back in and, and share with you. But guys, I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative, even if it was boring. Uh, if you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me at, down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I hope that you found this at least somewhat entertaining. It's not always uh, wild and crazy. Sometimes boring days are good, and today is one of them, which I'm good with. Bye, guys.